Welcome to Electron Online and our next oxidation reduction, reduction reaction we're going to look at is what we call the decomposition reaction which is the exact opposite of the composition reaction or the combination reaction and what that means is that we take an, an, a molecule and we decompose it into to its separate elements so here we have water H2O and the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus one oxygen minus two when they separate when they decompose then we have hydrogen gas and oxygen gas which are in the natural state and therefore the oxidation number is zero so the oxidation does change same for what we call mercury oxide so here we have a positive two oxidation state for mercury minus two for oxygen they separate we end up with liquid mercury and oxygen gas some interesting oxidation reaction reactions that are also decomposition reactions are those that involve nitroglycerin and trinitrotoluene, also known as TNT or dynamite. This is what made Nobel very rich, because he's the one that got the patent on actually using trinitrotoluene by infusing it into an inert uh, substance and then use it as dynamite sticks. So he made a lot of money off of that. But anyway, here you can see the chemical formula for nitroglycerine and the chemical formula for TNT. Notice they both have a lot of oxygen in them. The oxygen acts as, a, as a, an oxidizer and therefore is able to separate these molecules. This is the structure of nitroglycerine. Here's the structure of trinitrotoluene. Notice how this starts with a benzene ring, has three NO2 attached to it and one CH3. Uh, but then when they react and they start decomposing into its separate elements notice that two moles of TNT produces 3, 10, 15 moles of gas notice water becomes vapor under the intense heat from the reaction carbon monoxide and also nitrogen gas so you can see that those gas those these molecules are decomposed into uh, what we would call 15 moles of gas gas under tremendous heat then expand and that's where the explosive power comes from same with uh, uh, what we call nitroglycerine we have four moles of nitroglycerine notice they decompose into six moles of nitrogen gas 12 moles of carbon dioxide gas and only one mole of oxygen gas yeah that's probably correct and then we have here uh, H2O but because of the heat that also turns into the gas so when we add it up we have six 18 19 29 moles of gas in from four moles of uh, nitroglycerin and again the heat generated in the reaction turns everything into a gas and then again they expand a tremendous uh, tremendous amount and give it that explosive power so these are very interesting examples of decomposition reactions